next on BGSU Brain Game. It is Toledo School for the Arts versus Patrick Henry. I think we better buckle up for a bodacious battle of the brainiacs. Only one team can leave victorious. Who's it gonna be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU's Brain Game. It's Toledo School for the Arts versus Patrick Henry. Let's meet our team, starting off with TSA. Tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Calvin Bosselman. I'm a senior. To my left here is Haley McConaughey, also a senior. And to my right is Mahaska Stiegler, a uh, junior. And we are coached by uh, Kenneth Burchette Householder. Excellent. Patrick Henry, tell us who you are. I'm Addison Kirkland, I'm a junior. To my left is Brenton Reddick, a sophomore, and to my right is Adam Hamad, a senior. We're coached by Mr. Fricky. All right, welcome to both of our teams. We're gonna start things off with our toss-up round. All questions in this round are worth 10 points. No deduction for an incorrect answer, so you can play a little bit looser on your buzzers. You can confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. TSA, Patrick Henry, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Toss-up round starts right now. Nathaniel Hawthorne, William Cullen Bryant, and James Fenimore Cooper were all authors associated with which 19th century literary movement that took place between the Jacksonian era and the close of the Civil War? TSA, Calvin. Fireside. Incorrect. Patrick Henry, would you like to steal? That would be Adam. Uh, Western. Incorrect. Romanticism. Name the five-letter noun that can designate a recess in a wall for holding a decorative piece of art or the way in which an organism interacts in its specific environment. That would be TSA, Calvin. A uh, niche. A niche, yes. In 1891, a skeletal remains of the extinct hominid race, the Pithecanthropus, excuse me, Pithecanthropus erectus, were identified in Indonesia. By what more common name is this early form of man known? That would be TSA, Calvin. Homo erectus. Incorrect. Patrick Henry, would you like to steal? That would be Adam. Neanderthal. Incorrect. We were looking for Java man. During the Middle Ages, which type of family used a coat of arms as a symbolic representation of their family? That would be TSA, Calvin. Noble families. Will we accept that? We will accept that, yes. What process was employed by humans when they bred ancestors of today's wolves? That would be TSA, Calvin. Domestication. Incorrect. To produce the variety of dog breeds presently in existence. Patrick Henry, would you like to steal? Time. Artificial selection or selective breeding is what we were looking for there. In which U.S. city could one visit the Franklin Institute, one of the nation's oldest science and education? That would be TSA, Calvin. Philadelphia. Correct, Philadelphia, PA. About 5% of the worldwide energy from photosynthesis goes to generate this gas. Name TSA, Calvin. Um, oxygen gas. Incorrect. Name this greenhouse gas and most abundant hydrocarbon in the atmosphere. That would be Breton. Carbon dioxide. Incorrect. Methane is what we were looking for there. Methane. During the 17th century, Romer made the first quantitative estimate of the speed of light by timing the motions of which planet's satellite Io with a telescope? That would be TSA, Calvin. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. In Miguel de Cervantes' Don Quixote, the title character rides a horse name. That would be TSA, Calvin. Rosinante. That would be correct. If I was looking for the name of the horse, he rides the name Rosinante. What kind of creature does his sidekick, Sancho Panza, ride? Patrick Henry, would you like to steal? That would be Addison. Donkey. We will accept donkey, yes. In a decisive victory for the United States, 
which 1794 battle fought near present-day Maumee, Ohio? That would be Patrick Henry. Breton. The Battle of Fallen Timbers. Correct. That is all 10 questions in the toss-up round. Let's take a look at our score. Patrick Henry with 20 points. Toledo School for the Art with 40 points. You're going to want to stick around because our risk and reward round is coming up next. And welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. Patrick Henry at 20. Toledo School for the Arts with 50 points. TSA has a substitution. Who's joined your team? Uh, and for Mahaska Steeler on my right is Emma Todd. Welcome to Emma. Patrick Henry staying with their lineup from the last round. This is our risk and reward round. Both teams will receive the same nine questions. They're worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. You may obviously confer. Uh, after I finish the question, you will have five seconds to answer. If you buzz in, you will get yourself an additional five seconds. The tenth question, you can risk up to 30 points in five-point increments on a topic that we will give you. However, you can lose those same number of points with an incorrect answer. All right, TSA, since you have 50 points, Patrick Henry, you're at 20. That means you are going to isolation. All right, TSA, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Mm -hmm. Begins right now. Name the famous author, excuse me, American author, who in 1962 wrote the book Silent Spring to warn the world about the dangers of overuse of pesticides. <sighs> Did not get in time. Rachel Carson is what we needed there. Lawrence drew a green rectangle. It had a width of two inches and a length of 7.5 inches. What is its area? That would be Calvin. 15. 15, can we accept that or we need more? Inches squared. Accept that, yes, 15 square inches, yes. Give the nine letter noun that designates a long uninterrupted speech by an actor in a play or movie? That would be TSA, Calvin. Monologue. Monologue is correct. Identify the famous, famous British Victorian poet who penned the lines of the sonnet, How Do I Love Thee? Let T Calvin. Elizabeth Barrett Brown. Correct. Identify the legendary Swiss archer who was captured by the Austrians and forced to shoot an apple from, that would be Calvin. William Tell. William Tell is correct. Identify the aromatic plant that is the favorite food of the koala. Calvin. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is correct. Besides the real numbers and complex numbers, to which other set does the number pi belong? Calvin. Irrational. Irrational is correct. What unit of memory is the same as 1,024 bytes in a computer? That's like 24, is that what they said? Yeah. Um, giga, right? That would be Calvin. Gigabyte. Incorrect. Kilobyte. And I remember when that was a big number. Which artistic composition uses a variety of materials such as paper, cloth, and wood attached to a surface to create a thematic design? That would be Calvin. Collage. Collage is correct. This is the risk and reward question, and the question topic is colors of the rainbow. Would you like to risk? Or would you like to pass? All 30. Going for the big 3-0. All right. Colors of the rainbow. In a rainbow, what color has the longest wavelength? Shortest wavelength would be. I'm sorry, time. What would you have said? I was going to say uh, violet. It would have been red. It was red. It was red. So negative 30 points for you, but great effort. Going big or go home. All right, that's what they say. You're not going to go home, though, because this is the end of the round. However, 
you are going to go to isolation. All right, Emma, you want to lead them on out? All right, let's bring back in Patrick Henry. Welcome back to you, Patrick Henry. Are you ready for your risk and reward round? Starts right now. Name the famous American author who in 1962 wrote the book Silent Spring to warn the world about the dangers of overuse of pesticides. That was time on that. I'm sorry, it's Rachel Carson is who we're looking for there. Lawrence drew a green rectangle. It had a width of two inches and a length of 7.5 inches. What is its area? That would be Adam. 15. More specific, please. Unit squared. We will accept that, yes. Give the nine letter noun that designates a long, uninterrupted speech by an actor in a play or movie. That would be Adam. Soliloquy. Incorrect. Monologue is what we're looking for there. Identify the famous British Victorian poet who penned the lines of the sonnet, How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. That would be Adam. Shelley. Incorrect. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Identify the legendary Swiss archer who was captured by the Austrians and forced to shoot an apple from his son's head. That would be Adam. Tell. Tell is correct. William Tell. Identify the aromatic plant that is the favorite food of the koala. That would be Addison. Eucalyptus. Correct. Besides the real numbers and complex numbers, to which other set does the number high belong? That would be Adam. Irrational. Correct. What unit of memory is the same as 1,024 bytes in a computer? That would be Adam. Megabyte. Incorrect. Kilobytes. Which artistic composition uses a variety of materials such as paper, cloth, and wood attached to a surface to create a thematic design? That would be Adam. Mosaic. Incorrect. Collage is what we needed there. This is the risk and reward question. The topic is colors of the rainbow. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments, or you can pass. Patrick Henry, what are you thinking? We'll risk five. They're gonna risk five points. Colors of the rainbow. In a rainbow, what color has the longest wavelength? That would be Addison. Red. Red is correct. You get the bonus five points. All right, Patrick Henry, that is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time to clear our scores, and let's bring back in TSA. Welcome back to TSA. It is now time to reveal our scores. Patrick Henry, we did make a scoring correction. We decided our judge says we will give you soliloquy on that. And you got the five bonus points you risked on the question, meaning you now have a score of 75 points. Toledo School for the Arts. Bet big at 30, unfortunately missed that bonus risk question, and they now stand at 90 points. A very, very close competition indeed. You're going to want to stick around because things really heat up. Our category round is coming up next, where questions are worth as much as 30 points apiece. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. It is now time for our category round, where TSA now currently stands at 90 points and Patrick Henry stands at 75 points. Things can change though very, very quickly because like I said, it is the category round. There are six categories to choose from. Inside each category are questions worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points. But I must warn you, deductions start now. Dum, dum, dum. That's right, if you go for 20, you are risking 20 points. You may confer before buzzing in. 
and you can steal a question in this round. Patrick Henry, since you are at 75 points to TSA's 90, you get to make the first selection. We'll take solve me for 20. Solve me for 20 points. How much money do you have if you have a silver dollar, three quarters, four dimes, and a nickel? That would be TSA. Haley. Two dollars and 20 cents. Correct. TSA snatches control. Um, can we please go to world history? Yeah. Yes. Okay, world history 30. World history for 30 points. I will describe a person, place, or thing from world history, you name it. The thermometer was invented in 1593. Which inventor is connected to this invention? That would be Patrick Henry, Adam. Celsius? Incorrect. TSA, would you like to steal? They're waving it off. Galileo is who we were looking for there. Uh, TSA in control. 25, world history. World history for 25 points. Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI created which principality in 1719? Time, Liechtenstein. TSA, in control. I'm not liking this category, but I want to get rid of it. World history, 20. World history for 20. In what century did the French Revolution occur? TSA, Calvin. 18th century. Correct. TSA in the driver's seat. World history 15. World history now for 15 points. Supersonic craft that went into service in 1976 and retired in 2003. That would be Patrick Henry. Breton. The Concorde. Correct. Patrick Henry takes back control. We'll take solve me for 25. Solve me for 25 points. What is five to the fourth power? TSA, Calvin. 625. Correct. TSA back in control. Um, world history 10. World history now for 10 points, finishing off this category. Identify the Central American country whose capital is Tegucigalpa. Patrick Henry Breton. Honduras. Correct. Patrick Henry takes back control. We'll take grammar terms for 20. Grammar terms for 20 or 25? 20. 20. This is our double or nothing question. This is again open to all buzzers, but no risk here, all reward. What are, what are words called that sound alike and sometimes, that would be TSA, Calvin? Homonyms. Correct. All right, uh, that helped. Uh, let's go grammar. No, solve me 30. Solve me now for 30 points. What is 17 squared plus 33? TSA, Haley. 202. Incorrect. Patrick Henry, would you like to steal? Time, 322 is what we were looking for there. TSA, you're still in control. Like biology babies? What? All right, biology babies 20. Biology babies 420. What is a baby kangaroo called? That would be TSA, Calvin. Joey. Joey is correct. <laughs> TSA in control. Biology babies 25. Biology babies for 25. What is a baby skunk called? <laughs> They're known as a kit. A kit. TSA still in control? Solve me 15. Solve me for 15 points. What is 25% of 800 and, that would be TSA, Calvin? Um, 200, 215. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> wow, correct. There's 860. Wow, okay, uh, TSA in control. Well, uh, now that I've done something stupid, let's go grammar terms 25. <laughs> grammar terms for 25. What type of sentence gives a command? That would be TSA, Calvin. Imperative. Imperative sentence indeed. Uh, TSA in control. If grammar terms is the category for me, I guess we'll stick with it. 30. 30 points, grammar terms. Pronouns such as this, that, these, and those are considered what type of pronoun? Time, demonstrative, TSA in control. 
Uh, grammar terms, 15. Grammar terms for 15 points. What part of speech is the word actually? TSA, Calvin. Adverb. It is indeed an adverb. TSA in control, putting on the gas. Grammar terms, 10. Grammar terms, finishing off this category for 10. What part of speech is the word the or the? That would be Patrick Henry, Adam. Article. Article indeed, Patrick Henry takes back control. Biology babies for 30. Biology babies for 30. What is a baby rat called? A pinky or a pup? Patrick Henry still in control. Medical abbreviations for 15. Medical abbreviations for 15 points. Identify the meaning of these medical abbreviations. What does the medical abbreviation AIDS, A-I-D, that would be TSA, Calvin? Autoimmunodeficiency. Incorrect. A-I-D-S stand for Patrick Henry. Five seconds. That would be Addison. Autoimmune deficiency syndrome. Incorrect. Acquired immune deficiency syndrome is what we needed there. All right. With that, let's take a look at our score. We have Patrick Henry, 65, currently in the lead with 225 points, is TSA. But coming up next is our brainstorm round. Every single question worth 20 points, deductions are in place, it is all on the line, anything can happen, stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU's Brain Game. Patrick Henry, 65. Toledo School for the Arts, 225. TSA, looks like you have made a substitution. Who has joined the team? Uh, in for Emma Todd on my right is Jacoby Edge. All right, welcome to you, Patrick Henry, staying with their lineup. As we move to the brainstorm round, in this round, all questions are worth 20 points. However, I will warn you, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, not after. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot steal in this round. This is a three minute brainstorm round. Patrick Henry, Toledo School for the Arts, are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Brainstorm starts right now. In the words of biology, biography, and biosphere, what is, that would be TSA, Calvin. Life. Life, the meaning of the prefix bio. Which property of fluid is defined as the force per unit area? That would be TSA, Calvin. Pressure. Pressure is correct. Mustangs, Pasofinos, and Arabians are all breeds. That would be TSA, Haley. Horses. They're indeed horses. Name the president who held the office from March 4th, 1913 to March, that would be TSA, Calvin. Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson until 1921. What author used Daniel Boone as a model for the hero in Leather Stocking Tales, The Pathfinder, and The Last of the Mohicans? That would be TSA Calvin. James Fenimore Cooper. Correct. Name the city and state where the Union Pacific and the Central Pacific Railroads met to form the first transcontinental. That would be, that would be Patrick Henry Adam. Promontory Point, Utah. Correct. Promontory Point. What type of geographical uh, region equivalent to the Spanish name for table? Can, that would be TSA, Haley. Mesa. Mesa is correct. In the words omnipotent and omniscient, I'm sorry. Ah, well, I'll Calvin. save you all. All, thank you. Thank you for bailing me out. Good googly moogly. Identify the 11 letter noun that begins with an H, which designates the seat of the memory in the human brain. That would be TSA. Hippocampus. Correct. Which American author earned a Pulitzer Prize in 1983 for her novel, The Color Purple? That would be TSA. Calvin. Alice Walker. Correct. What religious leader founded the city of Philadelphia? That would be TSA. Calvin. William Penn. Correct. Identify the science term that designates the halo of gases surrounding the nucleus. That would be TSA, Calvin. Corona. Corona, will we accept that? We will not. 
We needed a coma there. To which chamber of the heart is oxygenated blood carried from the lungs by the pulmonary vein? That will be Patrick Henry, Adam. Vena cava. Incorrect. The left atrium is what we needed there. The values, traditions, and behavior of a given people in a given region are known by what noun? That will be TSA, Calvin. Culture. Culture is what we needed there, yes. End of round, let's take a look at our score. Patrick Henry, 65, and our winner with 425 points is the Toledo School for the Arts. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause. And in the spirit of good sportsmanship, we're gonna meet in the middle. Shake hands and we'll see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.